Bonjour everyone and welcome to Travel Lodge Liverpool. <laughs> We're in my room at the minute. Big uh, gate cakes is downstairs. And it's a little double bed there for me tonight, eh? But we're back, and we obviously we've got Everton tonight. But the breaking news that Newcastle United have made their first January signing of the window: Nabil Bentaleb. Not who we thought would sign. Aye, and I was a bit out of the blue. That, that was a know. surprise package, I think, because obviously we're crying out for a striker, a winger, and our left back. And I'm going to send him in. <laughs> <laughs> Williams is out. And um, went back to Frankfurt and his loan's terminated, so aye, what do we do? Get a sent on it. Loads of people oh, whinging about it, but for me, I think it's a very shrewd signing. It's alright. I yeah, think it's yeah. a very good signing. You've got um, Bentleb there, who's obviously went to Schalke and a big money move from Spurs. Mm -hmm. Spurs fans highly rate him. He went to Schalke for 18 million, they didn't want to see him go. And he was great there for his first year or so. Yeah, yeah, playing in the Champions League, league yeah. scored a couple against Man City. He's a box to box midfielder, he's great at retaining possession, he can got an eye for goal, but he's someone mm. who can, you know, grab the game by the scruff of the neck and yeah, dominate yeah. in the middle of the park. So Mick, we mentioned at Chelsea, and obviously it is Chelsea, they've got a great three in the middle, but we're getting run ragged in the centre of the park yeah, and it's happened in the middle. Like, it's, happened, poor. it's happened a few times this season though where we've had an out in the middle and like obviously Bruce has identified that as somewhere that needs strengthening and, and fair enough, I think it's a very good signing. Mm -hmm. Obviously it cannot stop you. We still do need that winger and yeah, left back, I, definitely a left back now that Williams is out, and obviously the only left-sided defender is Matt Ritchie. Now, dumb it out for the season, so we need a left back. We need a winger, hopefully Definitely Jared Bourne or something, and yeah. we need someone to help out with Jordan on with Carol and Gale always injured as well. But focusing on Bentaleb, loan until the end of the season, they're not going to buy eight and a half million at the end of it. I can be convinced. I I don't know at the minute, so I will have to wait and see how it plays out. I know, like a month or two ago. Bruce, he said he wanted a, a centre mid, so it's not too much of a surprise. Like he did say he wanted one, but I thought you meant he, he wanted more, more of like a, like a, like someone who can creative. like pass it forward, like a bit more creative of what someone who can like open up defences and play through balls, like a bit more of like a number ten. Mm. But he's like a, a deeper number ten, like. But uh, Bentaleb doesn't really match that credential for me. But nonetheless, he's he's a decent player. I remember him. Ish at Tottenham. Only goal for Tottenham came against Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the kind of player that I remember him being, he's not really dogged what, what, what Bruce, Bruce said that he wanted. So, it, it is a surprise in that sense. A centre mid, not a surprise. But, better led, yeah, he is a bit of a surprise. But, it's out, it's it, could, it, could be, it could be a good second. It could be. Yeah. It really could be. It could be one of them ones where you take a risk on it and it could it could massively, mm. massively improve the team and it'd be a huge, a huge coup, hopefully. Yeah. Um, they say it is out of the blue because out of all the people who've been, <laughs> who've been linked with, like, Bruce himself, the, uh, we've, that one, they? we've been linked with about 28 players. Like, there's fucking so, so many and he wasn't one of them. Mm. And it happened very, very quickly. It was just yeah. yesterday it said, like, he's... Already in Newcastle, he's having his medicals. Like fucking hell, that was a quick turnaround. Mm. Then that's the same. Then we're it's talking like about like is there a takeover going to happen? It'll just happen. It's the yeah. same with transfers. Oh, we're going to say Bourne. Oh, we're going to say him. And then it's no, just Bentley. No, we're saying Bentley. It's just me. One last. The papers might just make up rumours because they've got a job to do them there. Obviously, I think there's some truth in Bourne, and hopefully that comes true. But hope so, yeah. Bentley through the door, first one. Obviously, Williams then went back to Frankfurt, dumb it out, so it's freed up some space. Keys on his way out apparently as well, most likely Celtic. Yeah, Valentino um, Lazaro might be here in a couple of days. Uh, Lazaro's agent was at St. James Park on the weekend, but obviously he's got other op options. Apparently, all big Leipzig have came in for him now. So no, no, um, he's probably where he come from. That's where he come from, isn't it? Was it? Oh, for they, they signed him. Yeah, they signed him. I thought he was like 19 million or something from Leipzig. Oh, well, that might free up uh, Lookman, though, wouldn't it? Because Lookman plays for Leipzig, didn't he? Could be, yeah. Because, oh. like, I don't know where. Get one of them out of the I don't yeah, know where we'll stand with him because he was meant to have a medical last weekend. I don't know where nah. he's come. I still think Lookman could Great be a time. good addition. Definitely. Because he can play as a striker. He's probably not the striker that we'll want because I don't think he'll score loads of goals. But he can fill in as a winger. Mm. We might use him as a left wing back, although I really hope don't. Like, but he could be an option. Uh, so I'd, I'd still like to bring him in because he can be versatile, play either wing, up top, can score goals. He's very quick. But so I'd still be open to getting him in, but uh, Jared Bowen, I think, is, would be a massive signing. It would be. And it wouldn't be a loan either. would have to like, yeah, sign him. I don't want the 20 million from Dome, but that's why we're probably not going to get him. Unless we're going to agree we're on things. 12. Where, uh, when we can do the installments and that. But back to Bentaleb, and uh, obviously he's not fit enough to, to play tonight, probably not even the weekend. It'd be nice to see him free two against Oxford in the Cup. Mm -hmm. We don't know. His fitness might be all right. We'll obviously that's up to them to assess that, the health team. But he obviously hasn't played since April. And uh, he's had a April long, long year. time out. Yeah, he's had injuries and then couldn't get back into the squad. So. Fell out with the manager. Uh, speaking to a Schalke fan yesterday, and he said they loved him when he first came. Fan favourite mm -hmm. for the first like, 20, 30 games. He was starting every game. He was influential. He was very important. One of the first mm -hmm. games on the team sheet. Chipping in with goals. Like you say, controlling the play in the middle of the park. And then the manager got sacked and this new manager that came in 
uh, very strict, old school, and just yeah. didn't get on along with Bentley from day one. So it was very similar. Tottenham, and that, honestly, like you went you well into the squad when then Pochettino came in. Pochettino liked them, then they had a fallen out, and he was out the door. So mm. maybe he's a bit of like a Ben Arfa. He's maybe, he's got, maybe he's got a bit of an attitude problem. Like managers might not like him. Get Brucey will give him a few Brucey bear hugs, though. He'd be alright. Brucey will give him a fucking wild end slap. I uh, wild end slap if the bear hugs aren't working. <laughs> Hopefully, he can get the best out of him. I think if he can, and his head switched on, sounds like he is from the interview he just gave the day Bentley yeah. after saying that he's dead up for it. Just, I, I think it could be. A, I think he will hit the ground running. It's just how long he does that for. I, I do think yeah. it'll be a very good signing, but. Whether he continues it for a while will remain to be seen, I reckon. Yeah. Like, but I'm, I'm pleased. I think it's one of them players that we, we do need, and if we're going to change the system, then he's going to be important to that. Yeah. I'm excited to see him play, but like I say, we still need to get two or three through the door before January closes. Like. And it is only a six-month loan for now, so he's, he's only got the second half of the season to really prove himself and establish himself mm-hmm. in the team. I think it is an option to buy. Is like eight and a half million? Eight and a half million, million to buy. Like, the the option to buy, so... He's got six months to prove himself. If he's worth it, that's quite a cheap fee. It is. If he's going to be a good player I forward, then sign him up. But at, at the minute, like, just see how he gets on for the first six months. If he can, if he can make a difference, great. And then mm. we've got the option of a, a cheap fee to get him. Uh, Tottenham TV guy said, you know, they rated him massively. Yeah, I really fancy him. Didn't he's, didn't want him to leave. Big fan of him in Tottenham. Yeah. Right, big fan of him. He made up a. Partnership, aren't it? Was it Dembele? Dembele? I mean, was it Dembele? Like Dembele was great in the middle. As well, so. they're, they're, they're both quite similar. Now. Like, they're both strong, both uh, strong central midfield players, but also good at going forward, can strike uh, the ball, open up a pass and that. So. Does uh, this mean it's the end of uh, like some Matty Long stuff for now? Did you think Brenton Hill got one loan before January? I hope, not. January, I yeah, hope not. I, I, not Matty. Maybe he could do with some first team experience. Like, I, I hate him seeing him sit on the bench and now mm. he's got more competition. I do see less minutes for him, unfortunately, because I fucking love Matty Longstaff. Yeah. Like, I think he's Matty Longstaff's a great addition to our team. Like, he's a proper, like, passionate, young, energetic, <coughs> jolly boy, and he just you can see how much he loves playing for the club. So, I, I'd, I'd hate to think that he's going to be the one to lose out on his position. Obviously, like you say, he's looking he's, like he's out the he's door. He's most likely going to lose because Shelby and Hayden are still going to be knocking about. Yeah. Um. So, I think Sean's, Sean's lining up the pecking order as uh, well. So. so, it's going to be unlucky for Matty, but. If he, if he, it's just important about tying his deal down because I was still the same contract there. Sign him on an extension, put him out on loan till the end of the season. I don't know, like your championship teammate called up or something. Do a job there and he can come yeah. back in because obviously we don't know how Bentley is going to play out and we don't know what's going to happen. Shelby's deal, you know, he's meant to be renewing it, but we'll wait and see. He's, mm. he's got any consistency, but Bentley Leb, I think. Yeah, good signing, I think. I think it is, yeah, but Tim, Tim will tell. All right. Drop your comments below. You're happy to see Bentley about the tune. Who else should Newcastle say before the January transfer window closes? Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.